Hey guys, I went shopping today and before I put things away, I thought it'd be nice to start doing like Dollar Tree hauls, Walmart hauls, deal finds, things like that because I don't always share them and you know, sometimes I'll talk about them after or and come on someone's video and say, yeah, I saw that or so finding some new products today and stuff, I thought, you know, be kind of great to do a Dollar Tree haul so the first one's gonna be a Dollar Tree haul before I put it away and yes it was tempting to put things away before I even got to get to the product so let me move this bag aside for a minute and so the first item um, I bought this before and it's pretty comparable to any other orange soda you get a lot more, you get three liters for one dollar. I don't allow Jake to have a lot of sugar, but this is a treat sometimes for him with dinner. He'll get a little bit of orange soda. So that's his, you know, treat sometimes. And I actually tasted it and it's pretty good. And uh, they actually, I saw today, they had and I got sidetracked on some other stuff and I forgot to grab it. You know, like the seltzer flavored waters, kind of like the Walmart brands and stuff, but they had them in two liters for, you know, you normally buy them at Walmart for like 68 cents for a, a small 16 ounce or whatever. They had them in two liters at the Dollar Tree and it was a different brand from another store that I haven't seen around here. And then black cherry and stuff and I should have grabbed it and I didn't, so. I cashed out two different times, so I have two different receipts, but um, this is a staple that I buy there, uh, the Arizona iced tea, which is 42 fluid ounces. I like the lemon. They did have a deal a couple weeks ago. I stocked up, and it was not the Arizona, not the brisk. It was another can't even think of the brand. It, it was huge, big, wide bottles. Um, almost like a half gallon for a dollar. So I grabbed those. But I like these myself. Um, sometimes I'll put some of this in my workout bottle when I go to work out because it's, it's just, you know, sometimes I'll add a little water to it because they're so sweet. So. Yeah, I had to double bag this way. I didn't bring totes today. And our store <laughs> has holes on the carts, so you can't take them out of the store. So anything you buy, you have to carry out all at once to the parking lot. Thank God my mother pulled up front. I forgot the bleach. I bought a regular size, not the jumbo bottle, but the regular size of the lemon. Forgot it in the car, but I'll get it tomorrow. So, okay, this is another item I get there all the time is the Cheetos Crunchy Doodles, extra cheddar, or extra crunchy, sorry. My son likes the crunchy and he likes the regular puff ones. So for a buck a bag, for 5.5 .5 ounce, that's great for us because we don't eat a lot like a huge family size bag. By the time we got halfway through it, it would go stale with just the two of us, so that's why I like paying a dollar for their little bags versus anywhere else you're paying like two sixty nine for a small bag sometimes, and they're not like this you know small dollar sixty nine store bags. You know what I mean? This is four point five ounce. The Wise Ridges Sour Cream and Onion. Um, this is good. Some nights I'll put like uh, I get the ready-made um, frozen burgers from cheeseburgers from Swan's frozen delivery and I will make those and I'll dress it up with some ketchup and mustard and like the stacker pickles which they had the stacker pickles today and I forgot to grab those at the Dollar Tree as well and I have a little chips and a little sharp cheese on the side it's a quick easy dinner for myself and I got these Butterfinger. I like that they have the 8-pack. I look for those. 
versus the six. And even at Walmart, some of these have gone up to $1.59, things like that. So I try and get these kind of treats at the Dollar Tree. This one was a six pack. I got the M&M's peanuts. So like after dinner at night, you know, we always have a treat because if anyone knows, Jake has ADHD and stuff and he can't have that much sugar during the day. After his evening meds, it, there's like a little window between dinner and bedtime that he can have sugar and it won't affect him because the other meds are going to make him sleepy. So that's like his after dinner treat time that he gets to have treats. Okay, and then another item I got was the Brock's Gummy Worms made with real fruit juice. That's why I got these ones versus I was going to get the ones at Walmart. But I said, no, I'll grab the Brock's ones this time because um, these actually have juice in them for him. This is another, which he calls treat. I mean, and he won't get this whole bag. He'll get, you know, a little bit and I put it in a sandwich bag and, you know, I split this maybe three nights. And this was a new product for me. I seen these on Hotter that they had the different color mates and different like that palettes. But this was an eyeshadow palette and I know it's got sorry for the shine. It's got a lot of little part or little palettes, but I like that because you're not gonna I mean when you get these palettes and they have huge chunks like four or five colors you're not I mean it take you like a year to use that much and you got so many other palettes I rather pay a little bit amount and I like that it has a little bit of shimmer in it and I love the variety of colors of course I probably won't use that sponge applicator use my brushes but I it's paraffin free and I figured you know give it a try and it's a fun way to try some new colors but not be committed and get a lot of you know, little different ones. So there's, let me see, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine to 12 colors here. So for a dollar, I'll take it. And then they had the script with the views, um, two pack of lighters. I grabbed those because candles, camping, all that, you never can have enough lighters um this was a new product i haven't seen anyone haul it they only had like two or th no they had three left i grabbed one it's called spongefuls deep exfoliating sponge infused with apricot and green tea soap sponge approximately seven washes per sponge dual sided for exfoliating and moisturizing so one side is supposed to exfoliate and it says ingredients has like you know aloe um some camellia sinus leaf extract shell powder something coconut oil leaf extract approximately seven washes per sponge under, under normal use use as direct, directed expands in size when wet and it says remove dirts oils toxins massages and hydrates skin subsole for all skin types paraffin free latex free bacteria resistant so I figured after I use my makeup wipes if I've had makeup on or my face wash whatever this would be you know a great thing before bed before you put your moisturizer on to you know exfoliate gently um, you know, maybe not every night, maybe every other night. You don't want to overdo it on your skin. Oh, this is cute. I should have looked at the packaging in the store. So it has a rope. And let's do a smell test. It smells a little bit like fruity. So this side, it really looks like an apricot. Like if you open it. Because look, it's like very soft like a silicone sponge almost like a blending sponge on this side and then this side it looks almost like a walnut edge you see it 
but it's supposed to expand with water and you can hear it's almost like very fine sandpaper so I would be very I mean it's gonna be softer when it's wet and it's still squishy but you know sometimes you just want to get that old dead skin off especially summertime you're sweating you're clogging your pores I just thought now I see that it's what it's made of after I test it out and then everything um, but the other side is supposed to be moisturizing as well so as I was saying you could wash and exfoliate and then this will actually help get like I use an acne wash um, to prevent acne I don't get any but to prevent clogged pores and things and you know it'll put um get that mo you know exfoliate and everything and then it's the light moisturizer and then put your moisturizer on so this would be a great like evening you know if you did it like right before bed routine and you're just gonna go in and wash your face brush your teeth all that so anyways I thought that was kind of neat to try I did hit a huge score I came on the end of this end cap and the back end cap I could not believe it this is a it's even got the box hops and everything it's good till November of 2000 22nd of 2018 it is a 11.5 ounce box of Lucky Charms and it's a limited edition so that's probably why they took it you know off it says catch him if you can build a leprechaun trap with this box and on the back you can, you can cut the box a certain way and make a leprechaun trap or whatever but I guess this the thing is is it's all different clovers you know they have newer ones with unicorns and everything else I had that box I had to get it just because the unicorns but I collect these for Jake's school the box tops and he also collects the tabs off the um, soda bottle or soda can tops for children um, with health issues you can donate them and help you can donate them to a specific child and they can help toward their medical bills or just donate them in general and then go to a certain hospital but for a dollar for Lucky Charms and that's like one of our staple cereals even though Jake cheats and only eats dry cereal he will pick out sometimes the marshmallows so I got one two three four boxes so and I use the big um tubs that you get at the Dollar Tree they're clear kind of round cylinders and they have a red or blue or green or whatever top I use the biggest one they have for cereal savers I've bought the expensive flip top cereal savers the lid falls off they pop apart the best is at the Dollar Tree the big containers and you know I just um, if we're changing a cereal I'll refill it if not I'll just dump out the little bit of crumbs or whatever and put in Lucky Charms or whatever the cereal was in that one so we do, we have one that's always assigned to Lucky Charms <laughs> all right there is some more new products as well let's see Okay, there's one item not in this bag. This water. They had this item at the checkout. Sorry, I'm trying to get my bag. Oops. And it was in one of those clear cellophanes, and I couldn't get it, see what it was. Couldn't get it open, so I took it out of the cellophane, couldn't get it back in. I'm like, well, I'm going to buy it anyways. It was this notebook. And it had, like I said, the clear cellophane with like the sticker bottom. So all I could see was these colors. And I couldn't see anything else. So I opened it out of the bag. This, you know, foil plastic thing. And it's really um, glossed, you know, heavy coated on the front. I like that. And it's black with all these cute colors, polka dots. And it's lined. And that's what I wanted to make sure. 
And what is this? All different colors, like a rainbow. Pages. And I thought that was so cool because if you wanted to make this, I mean, it's really nicely bound, everything. And like I said, they're not loose like this. They're in a clear, you know, like you would see a pack of cards. Um, and they have like a little sticky tape and it had a little price thing here, but he, he just threw that away and, you know, scanned it and put the notebook in the bag. But if you wanted to make this into a planner and put some tabs and go by color code, like, you know, the kids' school events, work, whatever you wanted, that'd be a great idea. You could turn it into an idea journal, um, a recipe book, like, you know, anything with beef is orange, chicken is yellow, fish is blue, and vegetables is green. Whatever you want to do, I mean, it's that heavy bound, it would, you know, it would last. So I thought that was great for a book, and I think I might go back and get a couple more for gifts and have on hand. Because, um, Jake's now into writing down codes for certain things, and he's got all these scraps of paper instead of having just, like, a notebook to keep them all in. My son does that with, um, notebooks too, like certain online codes to their games. So, um, my appointment book, I always, even though I have a phone and all that, I always keep an appointment book, and the one I had, I didn't realize it was a student planner, it just ran out, it's running out in June, so <laughs> when school lets out, so I had to get a different, um, whole year planner, even though we're in June, because I write, you know, appointments down, and everything in here, even though I should back it up in my phone, I have to do that, but I like to get my planners at the Dollar Tree, they're quick and easy, and they have big enough block for me to write, you know, details like time, um, if I need to bring some paperwork with me, whatever. And right in the front, they had some new DVDs. And I got this one, it's called A Little Game, Believe You Can Win. And it looked like a really, because it has Olivia Dukakis in her. I love her as an actress. And especially in um, Steel Magnolias. But it looked like a really family, magical, fun movie. And then this one, was only one a copy of this one they had left, it was Alien Arrival. And it looks like, you know, a good sci-fi movie. So I was thinking about giving this to my other son. You know, if you can get nice movies for a dollar. DVDs. Think about Christmas, birthdays, occasions, things like that. You can put them up. And a lot of people like a nice movie as a gift. You could, you know, put it in a gift bag with some popcorn, some candy. You can get it all over at Dollar Tree. You know? So... They had these printed frames I was looking through, and I found, I wanted two of the same color. I didn't get quite the same color frame, but the same color scheme in, in theory and everything, and probably this slip is probably driving people crazy. They're sitting there, and um, saying and everything, so I found this one, and it's beautiful, and I love that. I have, um in my bedroom a mural on one wall that says be your own kind of beautiful and I have the same thing etched I made on my mirror to my vanity to my dresser so um I just really thought that was pretty I try and put inspirational things like this in my bedroom and then in the same kind of color scheme uh this one I found enjoy the little things so they're like plexiglass. This is just a plastic wrap I need to take off. The only thing is I didn't get the same exact frame. But I mean they're close enough. And you know you could put them diagonal, side by side, put something, a scone in them. Whatever you want to do. But I wanted those for my room. I thought they were really pretty. And they had a bunch of other sayings. They had a lot for beach themed. They had some cute sea turtle ones everything and I'm kind of doing like a beach theme in my hallway and I just got sidetracked and I didn't think 
and then and I left and I'm like, oh, I should have got those. So I do have to go back, get a few things that I didn't pick up because I, and like I said, you got to carry them out and I didn't bring all my tote bags and I already have like umpteen bags. So, uh, you have to give me one second. Sorry, I got to grab the receipt for this one. Sorry about that, 30 second intermission because I don't have a pause on this phone. That's my next thing, I'm going to have to upgrade the phone I use, I guess. So they were listed under um, framed art. So the, uh, I don't even see that on there. Okay. So I do have something that I haven't seen back in about a year. And I was ecstatic to find them that they have in three colors. So I'm definitely going back for more. Sorry, I gotta move some things out of it. These baskets I adore. They have a handle on them. I use these in a cupboard. That's, I have two cupboards that are above my toilet in my bathroom. It's the only storage in the bathroom at all. So what would happen is, I'm going to take something out, if other things would fall on the toilet, that's it, they're gone. Put on a rubber glove, I've got to throw it away. So I got inventive. I sorted my makeup by like lip, eye, whatever. And you know, I slid them on the cupboard shelf. So I know like I'll grab... Red is lip, you know, they come in red, blue, and green, they had there. And I love they had this handle. So, you know, they're on a cupboard shelf, you can just grab the handle and slide them out. They're great and easy. I even have one that I have, like, feminine pads and products. I'll pull that one out and grab one when I need it. It just sorts things so easily for you. I have one that's dental, one that's, like, first aid. It's so easy. I also use these... Um, in cupboards, I use them in the refrigerator, put their different condiments and stuff, and your kids want ketchup or barbecue sauce or something, and you don't want to pull everything, or like you have three, four things of pickles and relish, they can slide that out just to grab the item and push it back in because I have glass in my refrigerator. And what I did was, uh, at the Dollar Tree, they had the heavy, nice, um, gray and white, nice mats. And I cleaned out all the fridge. I put the mats down. So now with these bins, the, any bins slide very easily and don't scratch the glass or anything. So that works great. If there's a spill, it's a quick wipe up versus getting like stuck on to the glass. I could take the mat right out scrub it in the sink, dry it quick, throw it back in. So, um, my son likes these too. If your kids, you want them to quick um, pick up, or if you want to sort toys for a toddler on a shelf that they can grab the handle instead of trying to grab the side of the basket and the tips. You know, if you want to sort you know, toys or teaching them, like put two of these out and say, okay, you got to sort this pile of toys or a couple of them out and it's like here's your cars here's your whatever there's so many uses so many uses i love these they're a really great size um i don't know if it says they're called just slotted basket i don't know i mean they're pretty good size they're nice and deep and the bottom is solid so enough about the baskets sorry I was just psyched to find those I did find some more surprise items to myself today at my sink I have a big white or clear bottle with the cork that Dollar Tree had a while ago they had them in different colors and I put my dish soap in that because I don't like seeing a bunch of different I have like two or three different dish soaps I have out I don't like seeing the product bottles along my sink. So I have like a pumper one that I pump on my sponge. 
things like that. Well, they had different ones in today. And my kitchen is red. It was the very last red one. I snagged it. It's this swirled glass, but I see that they were doing for decoration and display. They had like sand in one. They had some like glass beads in another. You could do that and use it as a vase. Um, get the clear one and this would be really great for colored sand art. If you got the clear one, they had different colors. Well, it comes with almost like this stainless steel top with plastic. But it screws on. So, it, oops, sorry. I'm trying to show you the inside with the glare. See, there's like a little stopper in there. So it screws on almost like a soda bottle cap. So I thought this would be so cute on my sink because, yeah, I'll have to open it to refill my other bottles, but instead of seeing that ugliness, I'd rather see something fashionable. So I, I snagged that in a heartbeat for a buck. I just really like that. <clears throat> some reason yeah I think the only thing I'm yeah the lemon bleach I forgot in the car because it wasn't bagged so I was walking down the shampoo aisle and these popped out at me look at the size of this oops oh my gosh it's salon selectives marulo magic 60% special buy a bonus. It's got a pumper. I love anything in the shower to have pumpers. It's so much easier. You're not wasting a lot. You're not dumping it, dropping it, drop, you know. Sp the kids aren't spilling it. Uh, this is enriched with vitamin E. Purifies and adds gloss. Shampooing Marilla Magic. And it's 22.5 ounce. Salon select and it smells really great. They had a couple different kinds. They had the regular pink and this giant one. But I wanted to try this one. So they had it in the shampoo. And I got it in whoops. Tilt it up a little bit. In the matching conditioner. For a buck a piece, for that much, that is a steal. So those are pretty heavy. <laughs> And okay, the lemon bleach is missing. Then I was looking for a different kind of floor cleaner, and they had the Fabuloso, but it was a new advanced one, and it looked almost like Fabus softener, almost like Malky. But then they had this giant one, was thirty percent more, but it's a new uh, with bleach alternative because I add a little bleach. I have like white tiles in my kitchen and bathroom and laundry room area it all flows together the rooms and I like to add a hint of bleach just to really get them clean when I use another cleaner so this kind of will do two in one and I've never used this scent and I like the smell of it it's the spring fresh and it is in a 22 fluid ounce and it's a new smells clean for 24 hours scent so I thought that would be good to try. I'm normally a pine sol lemony person, but since holler I've tried the Fabuloso and the purple and I thought I'd try that one with the bleach alternative. Okay, and then I got another one of my staples is my if they don't have the whisk or whatever, I get this the orange or mainly the green. I don't like the blue one, it smells like chemicals to me. I don't use this on our clothing. I use this on our bedding if it's not like a stain or something. I, I spray that in Drift um, Infant Stain Spray, which I swear by. If they ever stopped making it, I would cry. But um, this I use on towels, things like that, to not use our good detergent. I use Purex Baby Detergent on our clothing, things like that. 
But this stuff is what I use on the others, and it saves money on your good detergent. So if you don't want to use this, because you're not wearing your towels all the time. You know, it's not like clothing that's going to be on your skin or something you're, you know, our towels aren't very dirty. We just dry off with a towel and poof, it's in the dirty laundry. We don't reuse towels. They don't get grimy. And my towels I bleach anyways, just as a habit, and washcloths and dish, dish towels, things like that. So, but Jake's, all Jake's towels are beach towels. They're separate ham hampers, so his doesn't get bleached. And I use boosters anyways. So, that's a good way to save money on your good detergent. Unless you have severe allergies, then, um... Sorry, the bag's kind of tied here. I'm trying to... So I happen to go by, and I like to grab these when I can find something cute. The blank note cards, because you can fill in a note, send them, put some stickers, whatever, send them to anybody. And I just love this one, because it reminds me of my little kitten that's here, Fluffer. But he's a little oranger, our kitten. Um, but I just thought that was cute, because they do sleep like that, and they're always laid out. And with the cute little yarn and everything, these little note cards, it's um, the Tender Thoughts brand, eight blank cards so you can write anything you want so if you do need a thank you whatever so that's why I like the blank ones and of course I'm looking for a price oh, you can tell I'm tired I've been up since 3 a.m. it's now almost 7 p.m. so for a dollar you can't go wrong believe me they had a lot of new stickers and everything and I'm like walk away walk away don't do it <laughs> I would have ended up a lot more. I do my medication up for the week because I have like three big things. But every morning I have to put Jake's up, and it's like I have to, you know, it's an extra 15 minutes out of the morning. So, and his actually, you know, I lock our meds in a safe to be safe that, you know, I don't with a child. He knows not to, but I still don't. It's it's big safety thing, so it's a no-no, and the keys are hidden in another place. So, anyways, I thought this was cute, this little round one, just for his um, meds, so it'd be quicker, because he's going to be going to a summer day camp when school lets out, so we're still going to have to get up early, and so I thought that was, you know, they have the long ones, but I thought this was cute. It was more condensed and easy I have to be walking by another end cap it seemed like the end caps grabbed me and didn't see him hanging but I saw one tossed down and then I looked up and I saw him it, it's the ink INC with brand 8 ballpoint pens but I like that they were they, you can see the pink ribbon they're the breast cancer awareness pens and they're all pink so I thought that was kind of nice I don't know if um, anything goes to oh yeah it says peach tree play things will donate a portion of the proceeds from the sale of this product to support breast cancer research treatment and education so you can get these at Dollar Tree and the percentage of any of these sold does go to research I was just wondering that and I read it and it does so they collaborated with uh, Peachtree, I guess. Um, I think we're getting to the last of the Dollar Tree haul here. Yep, this is under Lip Balm, but I've never... It's Color Matches Cap, it just says 001. It's the Rimmel London Color Rush... And it says, Intense Color Balm, Alluring Color, Tender Lips. So, I was curious. I said, well, is it a mauve? Is it... And I hemmed and hawed about buying it. I put a couple other things back. And I was like, nah, I'm going to try it. If I can get it open. I can't even punch it through the cardboard here. So, grab my handy dandy scissors. Wow. 
Yeah. When I do the Walmart haul, I'll tell you a funny, well, not funny, but dramatic story while well, I'm at home Walmart today. So, here, what it looks like, lasting finish color rush on color rimmer, rimmel. So, it looks kind of like a crayon. Do a little swatch here. Oh, that's pretty. It's got a shimmer to it. It's not, it's not sticky, so it's moisturizing. So that'd be nice in the summer, or even in the winter. Let me see if it has any, no smell. So that's kind of nice, a little, something different. So I'm glad I did grab one to try it. So that's it for the Dollar Tree haul. I will be back in a little bit with the Walmart haul. Thank you very much, and as usual, happy hauling.